wanted to see one, just one iridium flare. My count is now 519. I don't know, there's just something so serene and new, just beautiful about them. It's a very nice experience. Uh, one of the best uh, that, uh, that I had in the, in the last years. I thought they would be there forever. I'm so passionate about iridium flares that I was given the nickname Iridia. You just visibly shout wow when you see them, no matter how many of them you see. And I don't know, I just, I love them so much. And when I heard they were being deorbited, and I was just genuinely close to tears. This is the photo taken on uh, September 20, 1997, that I later sent to Apples. That flare was the first observed maximum brightness flare of an iridium ever recorded. No uh, software back then to predict yeah. flares themselves. Yeah. Well, there was a, uh, an American programmer called Rob Matson, and he uh, wrote a software that exactly could uh, tell when the iridium satellite was flaring. That program was also uh, modified to have forecast of iridium flare visible from the ISS. Ah! ah. Yeah, uh, there is also a, an iridium flare uh, picture from the ISS, a yeah. picture taken from uh, Dom Petit. So I will say the first time I ever saw an iridium flare, it was a very emotional thing when you, you see this part of your network going by, something that you never thought you could even experience. Um, it was uh, just getting dark in North Carolina and I looked up, it was the right place and it was this beautiful thing going by. I'm going to miss seeing that, it uh, it's really is the end of an era, but they've inspired me, they've inspired us our company, and they've inspired the world. Now, I was responsible for launching SV-97 17 years ago. I never thought at that time that I'd be here 17 years later pushing it in flare well. So nice to, knowing that they were going to do your bit, to suddenly have this little community of people that were all bringing together all of our pictures and stories and share the information online. It, I think Twitter went a bit crazy with it at one point. Actually, after a few minutes, the flare started to appear, and I noticed this little light slowly start to get bigger and bigger. And as I was recording it, apparently, I not only said, there it is, but I said, holy sh**. SV-97 is the last of the Mohicans. We're bringing up the rear after a cumulative 1,515 spacecraft years on orbit and a combined travel distance of 237.7 billion miles. Farewell. Every flare lover knows when they saw their very first one. Mine was Iridium 10 on the 27th of May in 2012 and uh, my last one uh, was on the 21st of October. My first one was photographed on the 3rd of July 2013 and that was Iridium 90. I have photographed 229 in total. There are only 12 in the network that I haven't captured. Well, I discovered Iridium Flare very late, uh, some years ago and casually because at that time I was looking for uh, the ESS uh, visible pass during the first mission of uh, Luca Parmitano, no? And the first one I saw was a minus 7.2, something like that. And uh, starting from this day, I, I used the living flare to produce a wow effort to, to, to my friends, no? When I joined Iridium back in 2005, I still recall that our competitors were shouting off the rooftops that our satellites would come down anytime. And look here we are, almost 15 years later, with a brand new constellation, so a maritime flare well to that last Block 1 satellite.
block one. Play well. Play well, block ones. Have a great retirement. Satellite. Adios, Block One. Dos vidanya. Farewell. You did good, kids. Don't worry, you won't feel a thing. Burn, baby, burn. Farewell from Hawaii. This is Chuck Wilson at the Iridium Satellite Control Center, and I'd like to say on behalf of the entire thermal subsystem team, farewell, already. Farewell. Thank you, Iridium. And thank you, SV97. And well, it's making sure we all post a drink when the last one burns up, and yeah, we'll all keep in touch. Yeah. Yeah. Flare well. End of an era. Flare well.